Hello everyone, this is Phil Jones for Projector Reviews. As part of our Spring Projection Summit, we're going to be giving you an inside look at Infocom 2022 in Las Vegas. We'd like to thank our sponsors, AV Pro Edge and Meridio, for helping us put on this year's Spring Projection Summit, where we talk about everything you need to build a great projection system. And that includes projectors, screens, mounts, video distribution, and even cabling. While many manufacturers display projectors in their booth, a few companies went out of their way to show the unique benefits of utilizing projectors in a variety of different applications. I took a few minutes to talk to Mark Roslin, Senior Director of Product Marketing at Epson, about their booth, the new products they were introducing, and the message they were trying to get across at this year's show. Hi everyone, it's Phil, and I'm at the Epson booth with Mark. So Mark, what is the goal of the booth this year? Thanks, uh, uh, very happy here, good to, good to chat with you today, Phil. So uh, the goal for us today is, uh, first of all, re-engage with the audience. It's mm -hmm. been uh, three years of not yeah. being able to participate in a physical trade show, so <laughs> a long time. Uh, and secondly, showcase the capabilities of projection uh, well beyond just a rectangular uh, display and an image mm -hmm. uh, to all the various uses of projections that are, that are unique to the technology. And, and I will say that's one of the coolest things about this booth this year, is if you walk around Infocom, there is a lot of direct LED in here, but there's some things you can do with projection that you just can't do even with direct LED. And you guys did a good job showing off your new models and the capabilities of the new models and also kind of showing kind of unique things that you can do with a projector that you can't do with anything else. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's, it's an amazing technology in terms of the, the projection mapping capabilities mm -hmm. on, on uh, surfaces of any shape and size mm -hmm. is, is really something that's unique to projection. Mm -hmm. uh, we're showcasing, like you mentioned mm -hmm. it here, which is some micro mapping mm -hmm. installations that are actually proxy of uh, real life projection mapping that mm -hmm. we've done in the past with partners across the country. So yeah. Columbus, Indiana and some other places mm -hmm. where we've lit up buildings yeah. and we can represent that in the booth. Uh, but also we've done projection mapping on top of printed content. Yeah, which is uh, cool, so this is actually a, pr um, a printed picture of the projector, and then all of the lasers and the lights, and even the text is actually done by projection, which is really, really cool. It really shows the flexibility and some cool things you can do at retail or in, um, or in hospitality and things yeah, like that. Yeah, absolutely. It, it goes into those spaces where it's visual merchandising mm -hmm. and things of that nature, but also in the arts community. Mm -hmm. So we actually kind of crib this from some art galleries where we had multimedia displays mm -hmm. where someone had painted mm -hmm. an image but then this uh, pro projection mapped on mm -hmm. top of it, just really enhancing the experience, enhancing that visual. Mm -hmm. And here we're using it for m informational, promotional purposes. Blockhouse Studios is here yeah. and they have some really cool, like little miniaturized version of a, of a building that you guys right. actually did it. Right. And it's, it's kind of neat to see it um, even done at, at, at small scale. Right. It, I mean, all this is great, but you guys make projectors. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. And, and the first thing is, they're getting um, brighter, but they're also getting more compact. Yeah. And that's kind of some of the other things you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're right on point. So the, the product we're standing in front of us is actually a product we're introducing at mm -hmm. Infocom. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's our new 20,000 lumen uh, projector. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a new class of product. It's the world's smallest and lightest mm -hmm. 20,000 lumen chassis. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's got a lot of unique features mm -hmm. that were designed with uh, some rigorous applications in mind, including including rental and staging. Mm -hmm. uh, so we took a lot of the learnings over the last several years that, from conversations mm -hmm. with that, that market segment and incorporated that into the product. Yeah, so. one of the things that I've noticed is um, 20,000 lumens used to be really, really big, right. you know, and the power demands were insane. Yes. Not only is picture quality is outstanding, but the, the, the chassis are getting smaller and smaller right. and smaller. Yeah. So, so that actually makes it easier to, to utilize as a, if you're a, a rental company and stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. And it makes sense in fixed installation as well. So this model is 60% uh, smaller and 50% mm -hmm. lighter mm -hmm. uh, than the previous model that was also 20,000 lumens. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a fundamental shift mm -hmm. in the form factor. Mm -hmm. uh, and that has 
strong implications in rental and staging where mm -hmm. you have to ship and move mm -hmm. these things around, mm -hmm. but also in fixed installation where you want to, you don't want the projector be, to be prominent in mm -hmm. an installation. Yeah. You want to tuck it out of the way yeah. and really focus on the on projected the image. image. On, on, the, on the experience, That's not, right. on, not on the yeah. box. And then you also have a couple other pieces like at the front of the booth you have the your, your 30,000 yeah. lumen big boy um, yeah. here and it actually has a really cool new um, ultra short throw lens on it. Right. Right. So that adds a lot of yeah, yeah. It's a obviously lensing is an important part as you step up into the into that line of the portfolio. Mm -hmm. And the unique thing about Epson is that we have one line of lenses mm -hmm. across all our interchangeable products. Mm -hmm. So it makes it easy for the installer to manage uh, the fleet. Mm -hmm. uh, and also we make them forwards and backwards compatible. Mm -hmm. So if you have an old Epson uh, projector that maybe was lamp based, yeah. you can bring in a retrofit new, a new piece retrofit in. a new laser, but keep the lens. Okay. Of course, you have these big, the big guys, the the twenty, the twenty thousands, and the thirty thousand lumens. Yep. And then you're really doing some really high tech projection mapping, like we talked about back here yep. with the sign and the and the and the little micro building. Right. People see per, um, projection mapping or projection blending, they think it's going to be really expensive or really complex. Right. And you have another demonstration that are using. Mm, basically three projectors that right. cost less than some of your lenses yeah. to do a really, yeah. really good projection mapping experience. Yeah, that's exactly right. So we have three units there ranging from 6,000 uh, lumens for a short throw to 7,000 lumens. And we basically projection map a large surface mm -hmm. uh, very simply, very inexpensively, mm -hmm. very inefficiently. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we've, we've had done with partners uh, uh, there's a, a installation within Temple House where mm -hmm. we've lit up a whole facility mm -hmm. with just six mm -hmm. uh, fixed lens projectors of that type okay. uh, and create a really amazing experience mm -hmm very inexpensively. Yeah, and you can do a combination of, and that's a combination of short throw and Correct. And, and, uh, and and standard throw projectors, yes. and you show how well you can actually blend that's those right. together. Um, lastly, of course you have some, like your, your interactive pieces, which yeah. we, we reviewed, or we reviewed your 1485 mm -hmm. FI, yeah. Yeah. the interactive, yeah. and you have that on display. And you even have the, the little guy, the EF100, I believe the, it is. The, the light scene product. The light yes. scene product, which, yeah. I went to, which when I first saw that, I was thought that was a really, really cool Yeah, it's a, it fits into a, uh, lighting tracks, so it's it's a really uh, nice piece for digital merchandising, mm -hmm. uh, digital signage, wayfinding. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, it's a really clever piece. It looks like a canister, a yeah. lighting canister. Yeah, maybe in retail we just want to highlight a shoe or something, yeah. and you want to map That's under right. that yeah. shoe a display. You don't want this giant box above you. Yeah. It is yeah. a really, really cool. Yeah, it's got a built-in media player, so you got everything. All you need to plug it in, just leave it there, and it, it'll create yeah. a unique experience. And it was cool because you can, uh, when I did the review, we were making little, you know, put pictures in stars. Yes. And put pictures yeah, we in, have some in templates in there. We try to, one of the things we try to do a lot is enable uh, easy installation of complex kind of experiences. So we've got advanced software that allows you to projection map, allows you to blend uh, multiple projectors together, mm -hmm. stack projectors, and you can do all that very simply with the software and the tools that we provide. Okay, okay. Is there any other notable pieces that you kind of want to point out? Um, yeah, the yeah. I would say the other thing uh, that I would like to highlight in our booth for anyone that's uh, attending um, or uh, viewing this uh, after the fact is um, uh, our, our installation for a hybrid collaboration room. Mm -hmm. uh, we're really uh, pushing forward into that space to enable the new way of working together and mm -hmm. collaborating uh, in, in corporate and education environments mm -hmm. where you have multi, uh, remote, both remote and in-person participants mm -hmm. and making that experience much more natural mm -hmm. and, and easy by introducing large displays that are of ultra wide aspect ratio. Mm -hmm. We have a 21 yeah. by nine experience mm -hmm. in there mm -hmm. uh, and enabling bringing the people who are remote together with the mm -hmm. folks who are in person mm -hmm. to have a very equitable yeah. way of participation. And I, and I think because of COVID, yeah. um, those, uh, the, it kind of sparked a lot of, uh, of the imagination of people because yeah. before it was like, okay, you go to a venue, or you go to a conference room, and then when COVID happened, all of that got blown up, and now people are trying to figure out how to be creative and collaborative in, in new, uh, unique ways right. Right. by being by still being kind of safely socially right. distanced right. most of the time. But it is nice every once in a while to get together like this and see it all, Absolutely. all, all in one Absolutely. space. Absolutely, yeah, and on that point, uh, one of the things we're, we're highlighting is that Pro-AV now plays a role in not only enabling productivity in the workplace or in the education space, but also preserving culture, right? Mm -hmm. Because if you you can't 
create natural interaction between f people who are in person or remote, mm -hmm. then you're losing those, the fabric of that organization of how that team works together. So it elevates the role of Pro AV to mm -hmm. technology mm -hmm. to a new level yeah. uh, beyond what we've seen before yeah. the pandemic. And, and I will point out, and, and, and again, that if you're looking for a wide range of, of solutions when it comes to projection, regardless of your budget or application, I mean, no one has the assortment and capabilities that Epson does. So, so Mark, thank, thank you very much Pleasure. For, for coming. And hopefully, I actually have already pleaded for about two or three projectors to review this year. Uh, and and, we'll and I'm up. sure I'm going to love them like I always do. Absolutely. All right. no, not a problem. All right, so take care. Thank you.